Hello everyone, Susi Gaming here and welcome to another War Thunder video. Today I'm going to show you how to use recently added drones. Starting with the strike drones. This guy is available at the top tier to everyone. Recently developers nerfed the spawn points for it. Now it requires 750 spawn points. There's currently 3 of them in the game. MQ1, Orion, Wing Long 1. All wearing double ATGM. Strike drones are if you're already a CAS owner and you have about 1000 spawn points i recommend you to spawn with the strike drones first to eliminate the spaas after you deplete out of the missiles you can switch to a plane or helicopter and you're gonna have less chance of being shot down by spaas why strike drones currently efficient because they're spawning at high altitude on top of the battlefield so you need to assign three buttons first go to controls aircraft type to the search bar NVD. During the battle, when you press change camera, which is V, you're gonna switch between third person view and 360 rotating camera at the tip of your drone. Now, this camera works same as a helicopter camera. You can laser lock on targets, look around. So when you assign this key, you're gonna be able to switch to thermal view, which will ease your job to spot the targets. Now go back, type stab. Site stabilization. You don't need to assign disable site stabilization thingy, but uh, be advised if it pops a smoke or drive through the tree, site will be lost. So you can guide uh, the missile manually without site stabilization, or you can do it with the site stabilization. It's totally depending on what situation you're in. If you're in site stabilization mode, locked into your enemy, you can switch back to the third person view. As long as your camera is in a good angle, you can rotate your aircraft around and fly freely. And last setting you wanna have is type air. Fire air to ground missile. Now while you're in camera mode, at the bottom of your screen, you're gonna see a tiny square. If it's blinking, that means missile cannot be launched. How to prevent that? As soon as you spawn, you need to dive down. Uh, so here is an order what you need to do. As soon as you spawn the drone, drag your mouse to the bottom. So you're diving down. Reduce the throttle all the way to the zero to not rip your wings apart. Press V, switch to the camera mode. Open thermal vision, find targets, turn your drone towards it. So make sure that square is not uh, blinking. Aim at the target, press the stabilization again. Now you're gonna see a square around the enemy. Launch a missile. And yeah, that's it. As soon as it's destroyed and you don't see anyone else, fly straight, throttle the engine up and get away from the battlefield a bit to put some distance. Meanwhile, while you're flying from the battlefield, you can look around with the camera. You found another target, repeat the process. Keep practicing. Strike drones also can be used as scout drone if you have a squad mate. If you want to mark targets for your squad mate, go into the controls, common, type squad, and set target for squad. You're gonna see a yellow marker, your squad mate will see a yellow marker as well, and you can guide them towards the target. Scout drones available for all light tanks between rank 6 and 7. So it starts from 8.0 light tanks. It's a modification that you can research and you can just launch it during the battle. It will launch from your tank. You can also ram helicopters with this. So if you see a station or helicopter close, you just launch a scout drone and ram it. For now it works. Later on, they might nerf it. And when you leave your scout drone, it will fly straight. You can switch between drone and your tank whenever you want. Another pro tip for newbies, select your target carefully. Some tanks have explosive armor and countermeasures. And your missile might not one tap these tanks. So if you see T-72 terms or leopard, select leopard. If you see anti-air or a tank, select anti-air so your team's aircraft can work on ground targets much safely even if you launch the second missile you will not lose the control of your first missile so for example you see two targets next to each other we can launch two missiles and launch time between them will be 10 seconds you can quickly get those double targets don't launch them together at the same time because these missiles turn quite slow they're not agile that's it with the video 
Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to press the like button. I'll see you in the next one.